As time passes, we can't predict when Starship's second orbital flight will occur. The delay doesn't stem from any issues with the vehicle or its engines. Rather, it arises from the Federal Aviation Administration and environmental organizations in South Texas. However, this is not the end of the road for SpaceX. Despite some agencies that tend to pose challenges, SpaceX continues to maintain a strong position, particularly thanks to the support of the Texas state government. And you might be wondering, what exactly does this agency do. In reality, what they do for SpaceX is more significant than you might think. Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Musk doesn't like being told what to do. That's partly why he decided that his company SpaceX would build its launch site on private land in Texas as an alternative to the pads he leases from the U.S. government. Since SpaceX laid its foundation in South Texas, they have transformed Boca Chica Beach into the epicenter of Starship activities. This place has become a pilgrimage site for both Musk and space enthusiasts from all over the world. Musk even named his city Starbase, and it has truly become the brightest star in the solar system. Many local elected officials and business leaders in Brownsville see SpaceX as a way to bring a brighter future to one of the poorest counties in the state. A mural featuring Musk's face adorns the center of Brownsville, and the city is beginning to reap the benefits of his patronage. According to a recent economic impact study, SpaceX invested $430 million on operations in Cameron County. Brownsville Mayor Trey Mendez said, This included payroll, construction, and capital improvements. Last year, the company added $885 million in gross economic output for Cameron County as well as continued job growth. He noted that the company has become our largest private employer, with 1,600 employees, 71% of them being from the Rio Grande Valley, and has established a substantial footprint within the city limits for various operations. Inside the city limits of Brownsville, SpaceX has leased 46,000 square feet at the Brownsville Aerospace Industrial Park, which is located at the Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport, investing $500,000 to renovate and upgrade the facility. Those are definitely some out-of-this-world numbers, Mendez said. Back in 2011, in a glass-walled conference room at the California headquarters of Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk told Texas officials he was interested in building the world's first commercial rocket launch pad in their state if the state could compete. In the months after that meeting, state and local officials gave Musk a billionaire in his own right, what he sought. About $20 million of financial incentives, laws changed to close a public beach during launches, and legal protection from noise complaints. Texas officials said they're necessary to lure jobs sought by many other states. They told us, you're one of quite a few locations we're looking at. Gilberto Salinas, executive vice president of the Brownsville Economic Development Council, which recruits businesses, said. Salinas said he concluded that the project would transform the region. It made me want the project, Celia said. I thought, if we're not going to go all out for this project, which one will we go all out for? Despite its white sand beaches, rich Texas history, and subtropical climate, Brownsville has a reputation for being a sleepy border town that is usually only mentioned in national headlines when it comes to immigration issues and border violence. Town officials knew that Musk's SpaceX was wonderful. Our children's future just took a huge step forward and our community is well on its way to becoming a vibrant and thriving community. Brownsville Commissioner Rose Gowen said, The deal was sweetened with a $15.3 million in incentives from the state of Texas at the time. However, everything for Starbase seemed to become uncertain during a meeting organized by Musk at the site on February 10th of 2022. And to be honest, even when SpaceX was constructing the launch site at Starbase, there were plenty of issues. Politicians debated the benefits of the launch complex, lawyers argued over regulations, and environmentalists expressed concerns about how the giant rocket factory and developing site would impact wildlife. Furthermore, the broad area environmental permit, as well as the launch and testing licenses for Starship rockets, faced numerous delays and challenges. Therefore, the thought of abandoning Starbase was not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Musk has said he might have to move 
move rocket launching operations to Florida if there are any further delays in getting environmental clearance. He has said research and development could continue at Boca Chica. Of course, just doing R&D at Boca Chica will not please economic development leaders in the Rio Grande Valley. They view the potential of rockets being launched from Boca Chica as a great boost for the region's tourism. The worst fears of South Texas supporters had been voiced. I didn't know any of those plans beforehand, says Jessica Tetro, a Brownsville City Commissioner and passionate SpaceX supporter who was in the crowd that night. I'm glad that somebody asked that question because we get a lot of insight. What startled us was when we heard the timeline and how they would have to start moving things to Florida. We just knew that we had to work that much harder and that much faster to improve our case that Starship belongs here in South Texas. Even so, the idea that Boca Chica Beach would become the gateway to Mars has been associated with the site since its inception. At the 2014 ribbon cutting, Musk positioned the spaceport as a place where history would be made. If SpaceX demotes its Texas spaceport to a research facility, an economic benefit will remain from the demand for skilled workers. But there are an estimated 1,600 employees at the Starbase facilities, and some of the jobs may be moved to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. In 2013, we were named by the U.S. Census as the poorest city in America, and that was ironically the same year that SpaceX selected this location for the next launch site, Tetro says. It really feels like destiny, like something that was all always meant to happen, like, they were always meant to come here and save us from that situation. And they absolutely did. I just hope that we can continue that momentum and not lose any jobs to Florida or have to relocate any of these families. Faced with the situation where a major aerospace company could potentially depart, the leaders of the state of Texas spoke up. Texas Governor Greg Abbott had signified support for SpaceX and its mission to receive federal authorization to launch its Super Heavy slash Starship aerospace system from Boca Chica Brownsville. Abbott explained that the process of gaining federal approval for the launch site seems unnecessary and stands as yet another exhibit of the federal government obstructing innovation. The Republican governor added that he has worked with SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk and he believes that approval will help both SpaceX and the Texas economy. Speaking on the approval process, Governor Abbott made it clear that he is fully behind Musk and SpaceX and would do everything he could to help the company obtain the required licenses. What I am going to do if Biden interferes with the ability of SpaceX to launch from Boca Chica, I am going to be working every step of the way to make sure that they are going to be able to launch from Boca Chica. We heard the vision from Mr. Patel himself about what they are working on, and our job is to make sure they can achieve their vision. Abbott added that his administration will work with SpaceX directly to ensure that the company can be based entirely in Boca Chica. The governor's passion is understandable because the benefits that SpaceX brings are truly substantial. Now that Texas has captured SpaceX, it wants to ensure a safe and accessible environment for growth. Earlier this year, Texas Governor Greg Abbott called on the state legislature to provide three $350 million for the establishment and funding of the Texas Space Commission over the next two years. With companies seeking to expand space travel in coming years, continued development of the space industry in the state will ensure Texas remains at the forefront not only in the United States, but the entire world, Abbott stated in his budget document for the 88th legislature. Further investment will cement Texas as the preeminent location for innovation and development in this rapidly growing industry. Due to increased competition from other states, and internationally, further planning and coordination is needed to keep Texas at the cutting edge. According to this document, the commission would focus on policy and arranging statewide strategy by monitoring local, state, and federal policies and opportunities and establishing an economic ecosystem for Texas's space enterprises. It would include 15 members, including those appointed by political officials as well as an appointee, each from SpaceX. Thank you, South Texas, for your support. This is the gateway to Mars. That's the tweet Elon posted to X at the end of 2020. About 10 years ago, perhaps no one believed that one of the most remote areas in the U.S. territory, like South Texas, could become a gateway to Mars, as Elon said. But as you've seen in less than a decade, this place has become one of the most modern rocket launch facilities in the world. During this time, South Texas, especially Boca Chica and Cameron County, also witnessed incredible changes that perhaps the residents here had never thought of before. So, how has SpaceX changed Texas? What they did is probably more important to the Texas government. SpaceX was founded in 2002 in Hawthorne, California. It's considered the biggest headquarters of SpaceX and also the place that witnessed SpaceX's development in the early days. 
But when the Starship project was disclosed, SpaceX didn't choose their headquarters to produce and launch this new rocket. Not California. Many people would immediately think Florida, which has the U.S.'s launch centers with bustling launch activities. Surprisingly, Florida is not SpaceX's choice. Instead, South Texas was their final decision. At that time, many people wondered why SpaceX decided to choose one of the most remote areas in the country at that time for such an important project. But if we analyze more closely, we'll understand why Texas was chosen. The first reason is geographical location. Texas is located at the southern tip of the U.S., meaning it is closest area to the equator within the U.S. territory. The closer the areas are to the equator, the greater the Earth's rotation speed. Thus, if SpaceX launches the rocket here, they can take advantage of this rotation and convert it into thrust for the rocket, thereby saving more fuel. This would be perfect for launching a big rocket like Starship. In addition, east of the Texas coast is the Gulf of Mexico and the vast Atlantic Ocean. This will avoid impact on human lives and ensure safety if an incident happens. The next reason is about the characteristics of the Texas government. Compared to other states, Texas is famous for its favorable legal regime. The state government also has many policies to encourage the development of space exploration activities. The state offers tax incentives to aerospace companies, allowing those companies to significantly reduce their operating costs. Therefore, it becomes an attractive location for a company like SpaceX. Besides, Texas also has an abundant labor source. Many schools in technology and engineering have been established here, which train a highly qualified workforce. This provides a large human resource for SpaceX to work on a big project like Starship. Therefore, choosing SpaceX was the best choice compared to other locations at the time. The arrival of SpaceX has been like a savior for Texas, bringing a spectacular change to this state. In 2013, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, the town of Brownsville, Cameron, Texas was the poorest city in the U.S. This is an extremely sad statistic for the Texas government. But that same year, SpaceX appeared and changed things for this area forever. The first benefit is employment opportunities. Texas has large universities that train highly qualified human resources every year. But before SpaceX came, this area had quite a few potential companies for them to develop. Therefore, after graduation, HR often go to areas of the country to work. By moving to this area, SpaceX has created job opportunities. On March 30th, 2021, Elon posted a tweet that said, Please consider to moving to Starbase or Greater Brownsville South Padre area in Texas and encourage friends to do so. SpaceX is hiring needs for engineers, technicians, builders, and essential support personnel of all kinds are growing rapidly. This tweet has given great inspiration to the workforce in Texas. Also, on March 30th, 2021, Elon announced he and SpaceX donated $20 million to Cameron County Schools. These are great contributions to help improve the county's education system, creating better conditions for educational institutions to train high-quality labor who can choose to return and contribute to SpaceX or any other company in Texas. As we all know, SpaceX is a big company, so employees working for them will receive a high salary. That'll be a source of income for people in Texas to improve their family lives. Not only people working at SpaceX, but even people working at other companies get many benefits. As the revelation of an employee working for the local manufacturing company, he said that because SpaceX pays quite high salaries, this has led to businesses in the area also having to increase salaries for their employees. In terms of the overall economy, SpaceX's presence has brought an economic boost to this area. Also, in the tweet on March 30, 2021, besides the $20 million investment in schools, Elon and SpaceX invest an additional 10 mil in the city of Brownsville's revitalization plan. This helps improve the county's infrastructure and promotes the county's economy to grow rapidly. According to some reports in recent years, SpaceX has always generated large economic output for Cameron County, which peaked in 2021 with a total output of up to $903 million, a sign of the miraculous growth of this area. Moreover, tourism activities also increased. Tourists who love aerospace will often gather here to witness Starship's activities. It's estimated that this rocket area will welcome 15,000 tourists every month coming to watch the SpaceX rocket launch from Boca Chica Beach. Therefore, more restaurants, hotels, and other services have also been built to accommodate this huge influx of tourists. Next year, as the frequency of the Starship launches continues to go up, visitor numbers will likely continue to increase even further. This will be a huge revenue generator for the residents as well as the Texas state government. It can be said that the above benefits are extremely important for a state like Texas. Therefore, the Texas government has also provided significant support for SpaceX to develop the Starship system. Texas is a state with very favorable regulations and policies for companies like SpaceX. 
After SpaceX arrived here, the Texas government gave this company many incentives. In 2014, they gave SpaceX a 10-year property tax abatement package in exchange for building the spaceport in the state. Then, they also gave SpaceX $15.3 million to encourage and help SpaceX build infrastructure. In addition, SpaceX has always received great support from the Texas state government in launching Starship. While government agencies like the FAA and most recently Fish and Wildlife have been barriers to SpaceX's Starship missions, the Texas government often takes many actions to support SpaceX. They always try to quickly process procedures for SpaceX, like road and beach closure when SpaceX needs to conduct tests or launches, and often support licensing requests for SpaceX's Starship launches. Last year, SpaceX was entangled with the FAA investigations to conduct its first orbital test flight. At that time, SpaceX planned to move the Starship project to Florida, which would help them expand the project as well as avoid regulations from government agencies. The Texas government had a lot of actions to retain SpaceX. This is understandable because losing SpaceX would be a huge loss for Texas. They've also said they'll do everything possible to help SpaceX, creating the best conditions for SpaceX to develop here with the goal that the company can be completely headquartered in Boca Chica in the future. That'll help Texas continue to grow to reach one of the top state statuses in the U.S. In short, we all see that the relationship between SpaceX and Texas is bringing benefits to everyone. For Texas, the whole state in general and the town of Brownsville in particular have changed enormously. Economic growth, the tourism industry, development, infrastructure upgrades, and the job market expansion, everything is like a miracle that SpaceX has brought to Texas. From the most remote areas of the country, now the entire state of Texas, especially Boca Chica and Brownsville and Cameron County, will be able to rise to compete with other regions of the U.S. For SpaceX, Boca Chica, Texas is like a unique paradise form. Favorable natural conditions, preferential policies, and more. Texas is a great base where SpaceX creates their Starship fleet and will also be a gateway where these monsters take off and conquer the spacious universe. That's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Your feedback is very important and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.